This is a strange story. I asked a question, got an answer, and it was divinely delivered to me. It was a warning, a sign. I was dating a guy. This was before I dated my husband. And this this man, uh, it was a short-lived relationship. It only lasted about a month. But he was a supplier at the hair salon I worked at. And I could already see God had shown me where he had spent time. God had shown me um, what types of issues he had. And um, when it all got started, when he first started selling products, I really wasn't interested. Um, and you know how time pushes and people start trying to persuade and they're not spirit filled, but they're trying to persuade you to give somebody a chance because after all, look at them turning over a new leaf and really doing well. And at the same time, the guy was very accommodating. Do you need a ride? Do you need this? I'll get that for you. And punctual and dependable. Hey, I was starting to get impressed. But I still wasn't interested until I heard a testimony. And he shared a testimony about how God had supernaturally delivered him from a very expensive uh, addiction. I forgot whether it was heroin or cocaine, I forgot. But anyway, it was very expensive, daily. And he had been clean all that time. Even during the time that he was incarcerated, he stayed clean. Well, what ended up happening was while he gave the testimony, I recognized he was called to preach the gospel. And that's what did it. That's what got my attention and made me even give it a consideration. And the guy, we saw each other for a while and he and I were really, really seemingly starting to get close, okay? And we would sit and talk for hours about some of his deepest issues in life. And I would share with him about what God could do with that. Well, then the relationship started to get a little more physical and I started falling in love. And I started asking God for a sign. I said, Lord, I don't want to waste my time. I don't want to waste yours. I don't want to get involved with anybody you haven't called me to be involved with. And if you call me to be involved, that means it's supposed to go to marriage. If this is not going anywhere, Tell me now, because I don't want to sin against you. I don't want to get caught up in no nonsense. Sure enough, I asked the Lord to do me a specific sign. I said, if, now I'm telling you, I'm going to tell you this. If you really, really, really want to know if you're supposed to be with somebody or not, and you ask God, and God knows that you will act accordingly, he will tell you. But if he knows you really aren't going to do anything about it, you can ask till the cows come home. He probably won't waste his breath on you because he knows you're going to do it anyway. So what happened to me was I asked the Lord to give me a scripture, send somebody to me who knew nothing about my personal life, who knew didn't even know I was dating anybody, and let me know by giving me this scripture, if this is a no-go, not going anywhere, dead end, cut it loose, hasta la bye-bye baby situation, tell me with this scripture, let somebody come to me and say, don't cast your pearls before swine. If I get that scripture, I'll know that you're saying, for me to say, hasta la bye-bye baby. So what ended up happening was a week or two after that, I'm at the salon and a lady comes to me and she says, are you okay? And I said, yeah. 
She says, you know, you've really been a burden on my heart. I don't know what's happening, she says, but every time I pray for you, this burden would hit me, and it would hit so hard. And I'm thinking, hmm, really? Now, I wasn't suspicious of her because this lady and I got along very well. We would always strike up conversations, you know, when she was waiting for her stylist to do her hair. So she and I had a great rapport. I'm just fascinated now by this sudden burden that she has. So she says this, every time I get ready to pray for you, it's the oddest thing. The scripture comes to my mind and for some reason, it, it's been going on for a week. I think I'm supposed to say it to you. Is that okay? I'm like, sure. And she says, okay, this is the way she says it. Sometimes people don't know when God is using them. It is so beautiful. She says so unassumingly. Um, don't cast your pearls before swine. Does that mean anything to you? You hear that? I got my word. As soon as she said it, I said, got my answer. And that was the end of the relationship. The very next moment I saw a brother man, I wrote him a little note saying, I still have my advice. I was so sorry, Charlie, but God gave me a word. And I ended up the very next week. This is comical. God told me within seven days, he told me this as soon as the man was walking away, the Lord told me in my spirit in seven days he would be married because he needs a roof over his head and he's in survival mode. He is not feeling what you were feeling. And I said, well, now look up here. Mm. Isn't that something? <laughs> anyway, the following week, my my uh, friends, my loving husband gave me a call to let me know he wanted to date me a week after brother man went and got married because he had the nerve to call me to tell me he had got married the seventh day, just like God said, he went and got married. And I ended up with the love of my life, my husband. 15 years of marriage, now he's with the Lord. 